Hello everyone, this is Chrisom, and I'd like to invite you to another conversation about your Kundalini awakening process. In this conversation, I'd like to talk about the year 2012. I know that uh, there are a lot of theories and a lot of, uh, oh, shall we say fear-based predictions about uh, what that date entails for our society and I would like to invite you to consider that it uh, in many of the ancient understandings the uh, Hopi Indian the uh, Mayan the Egyptian you know the ancient Christian all of these groups have foretold a great uh, change that would accompany the year 2012 uh, naturally, uh, people in our society, uh, some people, have taken the fear-based route. And I'm going to invite you not to do that, especially within a Kundalini awakening paradigm. 2012 is in actuality a very blessed event, a very good event, a very uplifting and, and positive and devotional uh, transformation. It's not about fear, not about fear. However, fear is going to be pushed upon you with regard to this great transformation. We always, we always within the Kundalini Awakening uh, pro process program, uh, we're always given uh, discernment choices. So we can choose to discern this, this great transformation as a positive, loving, beautiful event or something that's negative and fear-based. Uh, there is nothing, nothing indicating that 2012 is anything but a wonderful, beautiful, blessed transformation into a, a beautiful love-based scenario. Yes, 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 I've seen the movie 2012. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the special effects. I especially enjoyed seeing L.A. You know, because I could recognize some of the streets having lived there a few years ago. Uh, enjoyed it. I thought it was a very good story, and, and I enjoyed the acting and the music and the cinematography and the special effects. But uh, I don't agree with its premise. Its premise is slightly different. You know, this this different premise has uh, it has the ingredients that a Hollywood movie requires. You know. Uh, uh, excitement and endorphins and fear and close calls, you know, all of these things. And that, it all makes for a very good movie, and so I did enjoy it. I don't necessarily see it happening that way. The Kundalini within me uh, gives me the, the, uh, the vision that it is, it is in actuality a very positive uh, transformational period that some of the unawakened powers that be, at least here in the United States and other parts of the world, will try to use as a way of manifesting more fear, more uh, levels of control, taking away more freedoms, more personal choice, things of that nature. Uh, but you as an individual, you as an individual, you do not need to see it this way. and You don't need to buy in to those orchestrated uh, doomsday scenarios. It's always good. It's always good to be in nature, I feel. It's always good to have, uh, you know, within your, within your lifestyle, you know, stored away goods, stored away water, stored away batteries, stored away things that can help you uh, if, if a, uh, a transformation of society does occur. It's always good to have backup. Whether there's a impending destruction or not. Here in California, where we're filming this, uh, you know, we have earthquakes, quite a few. 
you know, you learn to like them. At least I like them. But, you know, I may not be the, uh, <laughs> the social barometer for that. Uh, but it's always good to have a, a backup, fresh water, good food, shelter. Okay. You know, I, I feel blessed that I'm able to live in a travel trailer because I have all that right there, right there at hand. And the earthquakes come and, you know, it just rocks on its spring. So it's, it's kind of a fun thing for me. Uh, but I understand for other people it's not so fun. With 2012, uh, you know, there are going to be some orchestrated events that are going to be used against you in order to gain control over the choices that you make. Actually, uh, putting a parameter on what your choices are, narrowing your options through fear. And I'm going to invite you not to go there. I'm going to invite you to stay positive, stay loving, know that the government is not the ultimate power in this world. You are. Kundalini is. 2012 is the blessed, beautiful expression of the divine that other cultures have recognized as coming, and we are so blessed to be able to live in the time of its fruition. So good going, everyone. You've been able to choose a lifetime that encompasses the 2012 event, and uh, in the time that it comes and approaches, enjoy it. Don't buy into the fear. Buy into the grace. Buy into the love. Those are the areas that are the real reality, not, not the, the plastic reality, so to speak. 2012 is a wonderful, beautiful, blessed experience. And yes, yes, you may have to take yourself into this in kind of an environment. You may want to go camping. Yes, I know it's in the middle of December, and, and for some of you, that's wintertime. For others, it's summertime. However, take yourself out there. Make it a planned vacation. Go out away from the cities and away from the, the uh, shall we say, the, the rule of, of uh, government. Take yourself into an area where you can be at peace with nature, at peace with yourself, and extend those benefits to your family. This is about love. This isn't about fear. It will be advertised in a fearful way. But you don't have to go that way. You follow your kundalini. And your kundalini will show you the kundalini way, the K way. Thanks for watching. Do you see, see?